all right guys yes this is another one welcome to my channel i i kb customs so in this video uh this is my um volvo x670 so i'll be fixing the radiator because yes the radiator have an issue you can see it down there it has broken and uh, they are fixed it so many times so i'm here to i'm not going to change it so but i have the top cover which you will see in some minute to come so i'm going to take off the radiator now yes and i'm going to show you how i'm going to take it off so I believe I'm going to remove everything in the front. First of all, remove the bumper, then remove this shoe. Yes. Then remove all this plastic. Yes, and this. So I'll show you how it goes. So stay tuned, guys. Okay, guys. So as you can see, I've taken off the radiator. That's the AC condenser there. And uh, this is the coolant for the turbo, and this is the radiator. So, uh, I want to take, I said initially that I'm going to take off the bumper and this uh, meter, but I didn't do that, yes, because I feel I can easily do it in this way, yes. So, let me just recap all what i did yes i first of all loosen up the hose here from here to the intake cooler i lose it out you can see it this is it and then i lose this hose that fixed to the radiator and uh, i lose this intake hole you can see the hose it connected to the other side of a coolant of um, turbo coolant, yes. So then uh, there's a couple of screw here. You can see there's a screw here, both here, both down there. You can see on the both up and down side. Let me show you on the radiator this is how the radiator is sitting so you got to lose this boat lose the down one too you see we got four boats there then but first of all you got to remove the fan cooling fan there's cooling fan there you can see it there so i remove the fan then i start losing all the boat yes i think i lose one two three four five six six boot and then i remove this hose you can see this hose here it's connected to the reservoir then i remove the intercooler oil that's the transmission oil pipe is connected to the radiator then i i unplug that then as soon as you lose all that and this boat here i lose both here and i lose this this one too so once you lose that you see the radiator is free so to remove it down there's a boat that hold heat to the chassis yes this boat is right here by the angle you can see it's here right here and the other side too you can see heat so it's holding it on the each side so i lose it up as i lose it up then i remove the down hose that connect to the radiator and you just need to figure it out how you're going to bring it out by dropping it on the driver side dropping it down then shift it to the driver side and pull it up so it will come out so that is it so 
okay the reason why i removed the radiator is this yes this is the fault here you can see it you see it has already broken here and yeah, someone here i can't really figure it out so i got another one for the cover you can see it this is the brand new one i ordered it and it came so i'm going to install it now and uh, put back everything back the way it is so let me get it done so i'm going to cover it as much as i can yes you can see this is the radiator so i'm going to remove remove the top yes top cover so let's go I'm fine. I will remove all this side now. And I remove the edges. I remove the edges. everything as i pull this side so i have to pull the other side yes you pull the both side or the bend clip you have to pull it off so i remove everything both left and right try to bring up the only one that is not okay i'm going to remove it now it's getting hard because there are still some that have not pulled you can see it now See, pulling it. I know there is a seal there, so okay. Yes, you 
can see it so it's pretty simple you just need to pull all the clip up yes for you to get it removed it's pretty simple but i remove it so by putting this i'm going to find <clears throat> i'm going to use a seal or black gum to seal it up then i'll put it back yes just the way it is like this yes. just the way i remove it that's how i'm going to put it back so but before putting the thing back i have to straight uh every one of it each every one i'm going to straight it Then I'll clean, clean it up, then seal it back. So let me get it done. I'll get you guys back on. Okay, guys. As you can see, I clean up all the dirty out of it, and then uh, it's fully prepared. So I'm going to install the new one now. Yes, I'm going to install the new one by using black gum yes we call it black gum yes it's a silicone black gum so as well you can use black gum you can use an ng seal yes so i have it this this is what i have so i'm going to use this to work on it it's just little i'm going to apply it like this yes Yeah, I'm going to apply it not much. Not much. I don't want to use four minutes because four minutes will be very too high. Add on it. So I'm going to use this. I've not used it before, but I think it will work. So that's why I'm using this. Putting the cover so that it will not go dry. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to put the cover. Using the four edge, use this edge. <laughs> now clip the other edge. We'll keep the upside. And I'll clip this side. Then 
and I'll see it in the middle. And I'll use hammer. I'll use the plier to clip all, all of it back. Yes. Oh, I'm going to click all this top and all the edges, then I'll get you guys back on. All right now, so this is it. I I I finish it up. You can see it. So I'll leave it to dry for some <coughs> hour. Yes, I'll leave it to dry for some hours. Yes, then I'll clean it up. You can see the dirty coming out out of the radiator. So like sound. So it's better to clean it up because it can cause overheating too. So after letting it dry for like one hour, then I'll copy it back. You can see it there. So I'll copy the car back. Then you will see it after I've coupled everything. You can see I'm going to clean all what I need to clean. You can see this. Yes, it's not looking nice. So I'm going to clean it up. Clean this up too clean the radiator then i'll pack i'll couple everything so i'll get you guys back home this is it i put everything back yes uh all this wire i'm going to look for zip tight to tight it yes and uh, i lost the boats here so i'm going to get the boat and tight it this is it you can see everything is back in place you can see the one i removed before the bad one and the new one is there so that is it guys i'm going to start the car now yes i'm going to start the car and hear how it sounds like yep okay that is it yeah, it it pretty starts well. Yeah, so that is all about it. So if this video is helpful for you, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, thank you. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.